Hey there, Upper East Siders. Are you ready for the real dirt? Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today, we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 places you must visit if you're a Gossip Girl fan. They don't have you suicidal, suicidal when they say it's over. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at the best filming locations to visit in New York City for fans of the show Gossip Girl. Would you take Chuck to be your lawfully wedded husband? One word, three letters, yes. And by the power vested in me by the great state of New York, I now pronounce you man and wife, you may kiss the bride. They can tell you what to do. Number 10, The Plaza Hotel. In a memorable season one episode, Serena and Blair ditch Blair's mom's fashion photo shoot after she tries to play them against one another. This just in, S and B committing a crime of fashion. Who doesn't love a five-finger discount, especially if one of those fingers is the middle one? They decide to do a little shoot of their own, stealing the designer clothes and using a point-and-shoot camera, because this is before decent mobile photography existed, to capture fun pictures of each other posing in the dresses. The site of their antics is the fountain in front of the Plaza Hotel, a New York icon situated just in front of Central Park. So go ahead, grab your bestie and an old camera and recreate the moment for yourself. Number 9. Henry Bendel During one of Blair's dream sequences, she's dressed up as Holly Golightly from Breakfast at Tiffany's. So one would assume that Tiffany's is the shop window she's standing in front of, right? In fact, if you look closely, the scene was actually shot at Henry Bendel. Sorry, but you're not on the list. Of course I am. This is my dream! Not anymore. So if you're going to put on your little black dress and pearls and wander around New York, you should definitely hit up both of these iconic shopping landmarks. The shop appears several other times throughout the show, when characters peruse the designer digs on display. Oh my gosh, it's Serena. Hi, Serena! Hey! Number 8. The Archibald Townhouse While most building facades you see on TV shows are just that, with the interiors being shot on sound stages, in the case of the Archibald Townhouse, the inside of the house was used as a set as well. Hey, we were hoping you'd be here. <laughs> My mom's inside signing papers in the dark. We got our house back, now all we need is some electricity. The townhouse is located on the Upper East Side, like many of the other locations on our list. In fact, in Season 2, when Nate is mailing something to Jenny, he uses the real shooting address on the envelope. The exact location is at 4 East 74th Street. Be aware, though, that real people do live there, so be respectful when trying to grab some snapshots. Hey, what are you doing in New York? At my house? Leaving, by the look of it. Number 7, Empire Hotel. Why settle for some club in a hotel? when you can just buy the hotel. You may not have realized it, but the Empire Hotel, which plays such a large role in Season 3 of Gossip Girl, is actually a real New York City hotspot. Chuck becomes involved as an investor in the hotel. And of course, because it's Gossip Girl, drama ensues. It's located on the west side at 44 West 63rd Street, on the opposite side of the park from many of our other locations. 76 and 5th, please. Actually, make that the Empire Hotel and quick! If you can't afford to actually stay at the Empire, it's worth it to pop in for a drink at the hotel bar, or snap some photos of the emblematic neon sign atop the building. Hope the Empire is everything you wanted. Because now it's all you got. Number 6, Humphrey Loft. We're Humphrey's dad. Not exactly royalty uptown. Though in the books, Dan and the rest of the Humphrey clan live on the Upper West Side, Changing times and housing prices made the show's creators choose to have them live in the Dumbo neighborhood of Brooklyn instead. If you're putting the address into Google Maps, it's 15 Washington Street, Brooklyn. There are conflicting addresses given online, but this is the right one. Hi, hey, Dad. Jenny. And... and Mom? You won't be able to go inside, but the view you get from the street will be familiar if you've seen the building's exterior shots from the show. Number 5. Museum of the City of New York Constance Billard School for Girls, where Blair, Serena, Jenny, and the rest of the Upper East Siders attend high school, may not be real, but luckily its on-screen facade is available for fans to visit. I hate secrets more than anything. You know that. Friends don't lie. And we're friends. Right? 
right? <laughs> the exterior shots are taken at the Museum of the City of New York, which is on the east side, but a little higher up than most of our Park Avenue princesses would actually venture. Is it possible for a guy to want to slow things down? Only the guys we like. It's open every day from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., and admission is $18 for adults, but free if you're under 20. Also, if you go inside, you might get to learn something about the city's history. Props to Blair. She trained you well. Number 4. Metropolitan Museum of Art Perhaps more so in the Gossip Girl books than in the TV show, the main characters are always congregating on the steps of the Metropolitan Museum of Art, better known to them simply as the Met. <laughs> Put it on, Gwen. It's the spot where Blair and her colorfully clad minions often meet for breakfast before heading to school. And in season 5, it's the scene of an adorable moment between Dan and Blair, which you can probably appreciate whether you loved or hated their relationship. It's Blair Waldorf! Oh, oh, you look beautiful! She's a real life princess! Let's get a picture with her! Grab some yogurt and head there to soak in the moment, and maybe see some art while you're at it. Alright, everybody smile! Smile bigger! <laughs> Number 3. Lot New York Palace Hotel. It's where both Chuck and the Vanderwoodsons live in the first season of the show, and it's the scene of one of Chuck's slimiest moments from the pilot episode. This is not happening right now. You worried Nate will find out? The New York Palace Hotel may have an astonishing price tag if you want to actually book a room, so it's probably best to be admired from afar. Unfortunately, you can no longer order the truffle grilled cheese sandwich that Chuck gets for a tipsy Serena at Gilt, the hotel's restaurant because it's been replaced, but we're sure you'll find better ways to spend the $50 it would've cost you anyway. Well, if you're looking for a way to thank me, I've got a couple ideas. Number 2. Bethesda Fountain Why does everyone look like they're here for a funeral? When you're here for a wedding. One of the most long-awaited moments in the series took place next to one of New York's most beautiful landmarks. Located in the middle of Central Park, the Bethesda Fountain is a lovely place to visit any day, but if you're a chair, aka Chuck and Blair shipper, you'll recognize the nearby Bethesda Terrace as the location of their spur-of-the-moment nuptials. It's a sweet moment that takes place in the series finale, and since then, fans of the show have likely been visiting. It's actually possible to get married in Central Park yourself, so if you're a real diehard fan, you can recreate this exact moment. Many Cyrus, I think that is enough. Perhaps we could skip to the I do part. Where's the rings? Number 1. Grand Central Terminal. One of my many sources, Melanie91, sends us this. Spotted at Grand Central, bags in hand, Serena Vanderwoodson. In the very first episode of Gossip Girl, the thing that kicks off all the action is Serena arriving home to the Upper East Side after spending time in boarding school. And how does this wealthy trust fund kid get home? By train, of course. She arrives in Grand Central, and that's where viewers get their first glimpse of the famed It Girl. The station appears several other times throughout the series, but none is more memorable than this one. And show aside, the architecture of the building is enough to give you a reason to visit. No matter how far you run, you can never truly escape. Everything catches up to you in the end. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.